Welcome to our review on the Go Part 3. Have you finished Parts 1 and 2? If yes, let's proceed. Here are the mechanics. I will be asking you 20 practical problem questions and you only have 5 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Before we start. Here's a heads up. The practical problem is a 100 item test given on the second day. It has an aggregate weight of 40% and you will be given 4 hours to answer. Question 41. Which is an economical way to remove mineral salt deposits in shower head? A. Put a filter. B. Prick shower holes with pin. C. Replace shower head. D. Wash shower head with vinegar. The answer is B. Prick shower holes with a pin. Remember that an economical way to remove mineral salt deposits in shower is by pricking the shower holes using a pin. Question 41. When is the ideal time to clean a septic tank? A. When the sludge occupies one half of the volume. B. When the sludge occupies one third of the volume. C. When the sludge occupies one quarter of the volume. Or D. When the sludge occupies one fifth of the volume. The answer? It's D. When the sludge occupies one third of the volume. Remember that it is ideal to clean the septic tank when the sludge occupies one third of the volume. Question 43. In a plumbing installation, what portion of the pipeline do you need to provide an air break? A. Faucet connection. B. Indirect water connection. C. Lavatory outlet. Or D. Trap arm. Answer? It's B. Indirect water connection. Remember that the portion where there is an indirect water connection in a plumbing installation, there must be an air break. An air break is an indirect connection of a drain line to the drainage system where the drain line terminates below flood level. Question number 44. In storage racks, plastic pipes should ideally have how many evenly spaced supports at the bottom? Is it A, 2, B, 4, C, 6, or D, 8? The answer is C6. Don't forget that in storage racks, plastic pipes should have six evenly spaced supports at the bottom. Remember, ha! Huh? It's six evenly spaced supports at the bottom. Question 45. Pipes for gas piping systems are commonly colored as what? A. Orange. B. Blue. C. White. Or D. Yellow. The answer is D. Yellow. Remember that yellow is the color of the pipes for gas piping system. Again. Yellow for gas pipes. Question 46. Piping, fixtures or equipment that are installed so that they interfere with normal operation and use of windows or doors shall be blank. A. Protected from damage. B. Relocated to avoid interference. C. Identified for restricted use or D. Approved if acceptable by owner. The answer? B. It should be relocated to avoid interference. Recap. When the piping, fixtures or equipment that are installed interfere with normal operation and the use of windows or doors, it should be relocated to avoid interference. Question 47. What is the maximum length of a G.I. shoulder nipple? A. 1 inch. B. 2 inches. C. 3 inches. Or D. 4 inches. What's your answer? It's C. 3 inches. Always remember that the maximum length of a GI shoulder nipple is 3 inches. Question number 48. What is the greatest stress which a material can stand without a permanent deformation after release of stress? A. Fatigue stress. B. Tensile stress. C. Compressive stress. Or D. Ultimate stress. Can you guess? The answer is letter C. Compressive stress. Compressive stress is the greatest stress which a material can stand without a permanent deformation after release of stress. Compressive stress. Number 49. What do you call a vertical or inclined plane, channel or passage through which objects are moved by means of gravity? Is it A. Chase. B. Shaft. 
C. Shoot. Or D. Well. The answer? Is C. Shoot. Remember that a chute is a vertical or inclined plane, channel or passage through which objects are moved by means of gravity. Chute. Number 50. Waste in plumbing drainage is prohibited waste when you discharge what? Is it A. Alkaline waste. B. Toxic waste. C. Acid waste. Or D. Inflammable waste. The answer? Is B. Toxic waste. Recap. Toxic waste is prohibited to be discharged in a plumbing drainage. Question 51. What do you call a pipe thread lubricant? A. Thread oil. B. Pipe dope. C. Pipe oil. Or D. Thread dope. The answer? Is letter B. Pipe dope. Remember that a pipe dope is a pipe thread lubricant, thread sealing compound, or anaerobic chemical sealant that is used to make pipe thread joint leak proof and pressure tight. Pipe dope. Question number 52. What does SDR stands for? A. Standard dimensional rating. B. Standard dimensional ratio. C. Standard diameter rating. Or D. Standard diameter ratio. What's your answer? It's B. Standard Dimensional Ratio. Recap. SDR or the Standard Dimension Ratio is also referred to as Standard Dimensional Ratio. It is a measurement and method often used by pipe manufacturers to rate the working pressure capacity of a pipe. Standard Dimension Ratio. Question 53. The use of Y and 1 8 bend fitting is also known as what? A. Y combination. B. Combination bend. C. Y bend. Or D. Y and bend. The answer? Is A. Y combination. Again! The use of a Y and 1 8 bend fitting is also known as Y combination. Number 54. Which rule applies when determining the size and capacity of cistern compared to the overhead water tank especially when using large capacity overhead tanks? A. Cistern is bigger than the overhead water tank. B. Cistern is smaller than the overhead water tank. C. Cistern is same as overhead water tank. Or is it D. Any of the above? The answer Is A. The cistern is bigger than the overhead water tank. Question number 55. It is a pipe or shaft used to convey foul air from a plumbing fixture or a room to the outer air. A. Vent. B. Branch vent. C. Relief vent. Or D. Local vent. The answer? It's D. Local vent. A local vent is a pipe or shaft used to convey foul air from a plumbing fixture or a room to the outer air. Local vent. Question 56. It is a pipe extending from the corporation, cock, to the water supply distribution system of the building. A. Curb cock. B. Corporation cock. C. Water service. Or D. Curb cock. The answer? Is C. Water service. A water service is a pipe extending from the corporation cock to the water supply distribution system of the building. Water service. Question 57. What do you call a faucet in which the flow of water is controlled by means of a washer that is forced onto its seat? A. Compression type. B. Ball type. C. Gate type. Or D. Hose bib. The answer? Is A. Compression type. Recap. A compression type faucet is a faucet at which the flow of water is controlled by means of a washer that is forced down onto its seat. Compression type. Question 58. It is a nipple that is threaded on the ends and has short unthreaded pipe in the middle. A. Close nipple. B. Shoulder nipple. C. All nipple. Or D. Twin nipple. The answer? Is B. Shoulder nipple. Remember that a shoulder nipple is a nipple that is threaded on the ends and has short unthreaded pipe in the middle. Shoulder nipple. Question 59. What type of urinal should be provided for disabled persons? A. Eastern type. B. Through type. C. Wall hung type. Or D. Pedestal type. The answer? 
is C, wall hung type. A wall hung type urinal should be provided for persons with disability. Again, wall hung type. Question number 60. What kind of joint is not allowed in cast iron pipe? A. Welded. B. Soldered. C. Threaded. Or D. Bell and spigot. The answer? Is C. Threaded. Remember. That threaded joints are not allowed in cast iron pipe. Instead, cocked joints are usually used. It is for bell and spigot cast iron pipe and shall be firmly packed with oakum or hemp. The finished joint shall not extend more than 3.2 millimeters below the rim of the hub. That's it for our questions. Before we end our review, can you enumerate the eight joints and connections usually used in plumbing installation? Let us begin. First are the cocked joints, usually used for bell and spigot cast iron pipes. Second are the threaded joints, which are used for iron pipe size pipe and fittings. Teflon tapes are acceptable for use on male threads only. Third are the wiped joints, which are used for lead pipes. Fourth are the solder and sweat joints, used for copper tubings. It shall be properly flexed by non-corrosive flux. Fifth is the flared joints, used for soft copper water tubing. Sixth are the solvent cement plastic joints, usually used for PVC pipes. It is also called as cold welding press. Seventh is the brazing joints. It is obtained by joining metal parts with alloys that melts at temperature higher than 449 degrees centigrade but lower than the melting temperatures of the parts to be joined. Last are the special joints which includes the slip joints for fixture drains and traps and the unions. That's it. Don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell for more updates and reviews. Next episode will be on the comment section. Thank you and good luck!